guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to do part two of Get Your Groove Back and today we are going to talk everything food. So food is kind of a major part of dropping weight, feeling good about yourself. It's also a good comforting mechanism. Um, sometimes we can go a little overboard but we're human. It happens, right? So today I just want to give you a few tips on how to maybe eat better, how to um, cook some new recipes for your family or for you, or just ways to eat better and smarter without overdoing it. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. So my first biggest thing is not to ever, ever, ever deprive yourself. Um, some people do diets differently. I don't even really want to call it a diet because it's not something that is um, that has a stopping point uh, when it comes to fitness and feeling better and eating better. It's kind of like a lifetime thing, and and that's why people talk about you can't have a quick fix kind of diet plan because it doesn't work that way. It kind of has to actually be a lifestyle change, and so if you find simple ways to add different foods and things into your day to make it easier, then it becomes a lifestyle change and it's not so hard and you're not going crazy over what So, don't deprive yourself. By this, I mean if you want a cupcake, eat a damn cupcake. If you want some fried chicken, eat the fried chicken. But guess what? You're going to have to do work to get it off. Plain and simple, that's how it goes. You cannot shove your mouth with all kinds of different foods that are not good for your body and expect to lose weight. That's just kind of how it goes, right? Just point blank. So, um, sorry, you can hear Brody in the background. <laughs> but, um, so for me, I, if I want something or I'm craving something, I'm just going to have it. I just know that I'm going to either have to go to the gym or I'm going to have to do an extra set of squats or something to kind of balance it out. But, the reason I could never actually do like a diet plan is because I don't do well to somebody telling me what I can and can't have. <laughs> and if you know me, you know how true that is. Um, I, it's so funny. My friend Ashley always makes fun of me because she'll tell me something to do. I'm like, you're not the boss of me. And um, yeah, it kind of goes with eating too. Like I just can't be told you can't have carbs, you can't have this, you can't have that. And I'm just going to be like... Okay, you said I can't have it, so I'm going to eat like 10 pounds of it. That's what's going to happen. Anyways, okay, so don't deprive yourself. It's okay to have pizza. It's okay to have chocolate. It's okay to drink a bottle of wine. Right? <laughs> um, but you just know that you're going to have to put in a little extra work, especially if you're wanting to drop weight. It's just how it goes, but do not deprive yourself. Don't feel bad if you overeat one day or, you know make too many sweet choices instead of healthy choices. And just like one good meal isn't going to make you lose a bunch of weight, one bad meal isn't going to make you gain a bunch of weight. So it's just all about balance and you just kind of have to figure out where you fit in in between all of that. Next is going to be sugar intake. This is a part where I struggle the most because I am definitely a sweets person. And although I don't really have many sweets like I used to, like if you would have chocolate in the house, I could find it and I would devour it all. Um, but I just don't really, I'm not really like that much anymore. So I'm getting better at it. Sugar isn't a natural part of our, of the metabolism. So our bodies don't really break it down um, the way that it's supposed to. Very few cells in our body can actually make use when of it. When we eat a lot of sugar, most of the fructose ends up getting filtered through our liver and breaks down that way and the rest is kind of turned into fat. Not kind of, it is turned into fat. Okay, start in the morning. So say you have your cup of coffee. Okay, well you're putting sugar and creamer in there and then, you know, some smoothies are packed with tons of sugar and then you go to lunch and you have salad dressings that are packed with sugar Just and snacks. Your protein bars can sometimes be packed packed with sugar if you're not eating the right ones. And then you go to dinner and, you know, maybe you're having a sweet tea or maybe you like to drink Dr. Pepper and you're having one or two of those a day. Like, all of the sugar through all of those meals are going to build up. And so, sugar, just like carbs, is something that you actually have to watch 
uh, throughout your day. You can't just randomly shove stuff in our bodies and expect our bodies to take care of it and, you know, make us happy. Like, it just doesn't work that way. You have to balance certain um, sugars and carbs and stuff like that to get you throughout the day. Another thing is carb intake. Now, I'm not an expert when it comes to all of this, and I've told you that in my first video, but what I do know is that our bodies tend to slow down around 2.33 o'clock during the day, and that's kind of where we have to have like our pick-me-up. So I suggest that you eat your carbs. Uh, if you're going to do that, have them earlier in the day. That way you are burning them off and, you know, your body's constantly going. And don't save them for nighttime at dinner before you go to bed or anything like that. So try and keep your carbs low during the day before 3 p.m. Try low carb wraps. Those are so good. You can fill them with chicken salad, tuna salad, um, throw some turkey in there, some lettuce, tomatoes. I mean, you can do so many things with a uh, low carb wrap and it's much better than just, you know, eating a sandwich or, you know, having some pasta and bread. So I also like to take, I think I talked about it in my last video, but I like to take just like get a head of lettuce or they actually make like the uh, romaine I think lettuce leaves you can use those too and I like to put like hummus and turkey and sriracha on it and I will eat that so many days a week you can also of course put you know tuna salad chicken salad whatever on those lettuce wraps and eat them that way and they're so good and you're not piling up a whole bunch of carbs or sugars uh, into that meal and so it's something that you can feel good about, but it's also going to fill you up. And that's like one of the really important things is that you want to be filled up. You want to be fueled with good things. You don't want to starve yourself and, you know, try and drop weight that way. So I'm going to give you a few little meal ideas of what I like to do. And if you guys want to see like a actual vlog of what I eat in a day, and stuff like that then just leave it down below and I will film one of those for you but I just wanted to kind of talk a little bit about um, you know a few food ideas and things like that to kind of get us started okay so fresh bruschetta so I made this when was it it was a few weeks ago I actually made it and it was so good my friend came over it's when my grandma was in town and we just had some bruschetta and I had like some cheese and meat on the tray and we had wine and it was just so good but sometimes we get wrapped up into thinking especially if you're a southern kind of woman that you have to have this huge dinner laid out for your family and half the time guess what they don't even eat it or they do but it's like you cooked all this time and it's devoured in five seconds right fresh bruschetta you can get on Pinterest I love to get on Pinterest and just pin a bunch of different meals but do meals that you're actually going to make like I know things look good but do things that you'll actually you know enjoy making and that are easy if you're not a um if you don't cook a lot so for the bruschetta all you need is um I think it's like you can use a little bit of olive oil some fresh tomatoes garlic basil um, you can do a balsamic drizzle, but you just take uh, some French bread and you just slice it at an angle and you toast it up in the pan and then you'll just mix all those ingredients together and then put them on top and drizzle the balsamic if you want. And you can put like fresh shaved parmesan on top and it is just so good. And if you have that and then you have a side salad, like to me that's a meal in itself. It's so good. You can even put, um, you know, salami on top if you want, if you have a man or you yourself who <laughs> needs a little meat in their life. Really good. Also, fresh pasta. I don't know what, I don't know what this is doing over here. Hold on. Pause for a second. Okay, so another thing that I love to make is fresh pasta and by that I don't mean I make the noodles in my kitchen because you know that's not happening but I like to mix like fresh ingredients in there so instead of buying a can of sauce and some noodles instead try a really thin spaghetti or bow tie and then you know drizzle, drizzle a little, little bit of it yeah do all of that do all of that um, okay we're 
we're gonna get it right. Okay, so, so in a pan, you will take like some, you can use meat if you wanna do chicken, or you can do ground Italian sausage, or um, whatever you want. But anyways, I like to usually brown our meat, and then I will toss in some onions, some basil, garlic, tomatoes, and I will just toss that in. I'll drizzle some olive oil, and then take a ladle full of the pasta water and pour it in there, and you just let it simmer, and it's so good. You just pour that on top of the pasta and grate some fresh Parmesan on top of it, and it is delicious. It's simple. You can add some red peppers in there if you like it a little spicy, and it's good, but it's fresher, so it's not going to be so heavy. Though some of those sauces um, can be filled with tons of sugar and all kinds of stuff in there, and you don't know what's in there. So the fresher you make your food, the less calories you're going to have, the less sugar, and the more pasta you can eat, girl. Oh, I was trying to read that. <laughs> I wrote down baked chicken, but it looked like it said side of south. Like a side of southern comfort. I don't know. You can make baked chicken, of course, in the oven. And then do like a side of spinach and tomatoes and garlic. Just kind of in mushrooms. You can add mushrooms in and do something like that. That's a healthier version than doing mashed potatoes or green beans with bacon. I would still eat it though. Ooh, that's my favorite. Chicken lettuce wraps that I talked about earlier, how I do the turkey. Um, you can do, totally do chicken and it's so good, but I'll see, I'll see if I can find some recipes and link them below, but if not, get on Pinterest and just type it in and there's just so many different things that you can make, but um, the chicken, what is it, Payway from Payway, the chicken wraps, chicken lettuce wraps, oh my gosh, they are so good. Of fresh fruit in your refrigerator. That way it's handy, you can grab it, make sure it's already washed, and you can snack on that, get you a bag of almonds or cashews, you know, have those in little, those 100 calorie, like, baggies, the little small ones, you can divide those up and have them just lined up in a basket. So if you feel your blood sugar dropping, you can just take one of those, give you some energy. Tuna on cucumber. So my friend Sam, I saw her make this, I think it was like last summer or something, and I always do it now, but you just make tuna like you would normally make it. Of course, you wanna use a little less mayo. I think I saw something where you could use like yogurt, but I ain't doing that. I like my mayonnaise so yeah um so anyway so just make your tuna how you usually make it and then you will put it on top of the cucumber and just have a snack like that so eating does not have to be a difficult thing I know it can be so overwhelming especially because you want to have all the foods that you're not supposed to eat but I promise you if you keep little snacks around so that when you feel your blood pressure blah, 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 when you feel your blood sugar dropping, you can grab one of those, get some energy back. I think it's always best to do something like that before dinner anyways and have like a bottle of water. That way when you sit down to something, you're not just wanting to scarf it. You know, you can kind of ease into it, eat a little bit slower so you're more conscious of how much you're eating. But anyways, you do that. So have little snacks around. Make sure you snack. Like, I am such a snacker. Don't deprive yourself. Like, seriously, if you want something, have it. But just know that, okay, I'm going to eat this cupcake, but I'm going to do 50 squats afterwards. You know, like, balance it out that way. And it becomes so much easier once you get started. My favorites of when it comes to, like, breakfast, I like to do oatmeal. I'll put some bananas in it. Not many people like oatmeal, I don't think, or at least in my household they don't. So, uh, all the oatmeal's for me. Um, stay away from sugary cereals. I know it's easy sometimes to just grab a bowl of cereal, but all that sugar and it's not going to fill you up. Um, do protein shakes. I showed you guys the chocolate version of my cake batter one. I put it on my Snapchat and you're just going to use chocolate protein powder and the chocolate sugar-free jello packet and just do that instead of the vanilla and it's so good and it tastes just like chocolate batter it's and so good. you can also 
I'm like jumping around. This, this is why I can't do these videos, guys, because I bounce around like crazy. I can't get my mind straight. And I don't know about you guys, but have you noticed... I just feel like my country accent is like coming back. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just feel like it's just, maybe it's only when I talk fast, but I feel like it's just like coming back, coming back to me. Um, <laughs> okay, so another for chocolate craving. I've posted it before on my Snapchat, but it's the chocolate um, protein powder mixed with the jello sugar free chocolate pudding and if you make that like it's supposed to be made with two cups of milk and um and then two scoops of protein and you just put that in your refrigerator and it's I think it's four servings so you can if you're getting a craving go eat that because that's not full of sugar and it's not full of calories and all kinds of stuff so you won't feel guilty eating it it's so good. So my next video is going to be about fitness. So in that video, I will talk about some workouts that you can do. And uh, I'm going to probably keep them mostly for home because I feel like it's easier. You can do anything at the gym when you go, but it's home workouts that I think a lot of women need to actually learn. That way when they're home with the kids or just before bed or something, you don't have time to always go out to the gym. So that's something that, you know, you can do at home and I just want to kind of balance on or work on that stuff so that's going to be my next video of get your groove back. Easy talk here besides the food and all that don't be so hard on yourself. Uh, dropping weight, feeling good, it all takes time and it all takes balance. Um, I see a lot of girls though like a lot of people are actually getting in the groove of working out and eating better and it's just kind of almost like this just worldwide sweep of people just feeling good about themselves and that's awesome and I think if we all empower each other and we make each other feel good then it'll be so much easier. Just had a baby like I said in my last video. It took you nine months to put it on girl. It's probably going to take you that to get it off and or you can be like me and it took me like forever like years <laughs> because I just did not. I tried but I didn't try. I didn't really try. I'm lying to you. It didn't really honestly gosh it just takes time like and it's a lifetime deal it's not like you reach a certain point and you are done you it's just a forever thing but once you feel I don't want you to go off of the scale or someone else's looks or body everybody's body type is completely different like it plain and simple okay we're all gonna weigh different we're all gonna be shaped different and that's it. So it's just about you feeling healthy and you feeling good about yourself. When you walk into your closet, I want you to be able to try on something and be feel good about it and not have a tornado of clothes left because you don't feel comfortable in anything, you know? I mean, that's like one of the best feelings is when you can go shopping or you can go somewhere, try on something, and you feel good about yourself. So that's really what it comes down to what it is all about is you feeling good you being healthy and plain and simple that is it it does not matter about anybody else or what anybody else thinks it's all about you and that's where you have to start and focus I'm going to try and find some cool recipes and leave them down below but if you would love to see like a vlog of what I eat in a day and anything else just let me know down below so that I can get to that and I thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me. I love you guys so much. And I love when you guys comment me and snap me. I know I said that in my last video, but I really do enjoy it. I love talking to you guys. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye.